Hey guys, and welcome back to the Bloodthirsty Challenge. The challenge where we attempt to get to max on level, which at the time of this recording is 110 in the Legion expansion, without ever dying, and without ever completing any of these quests that you can see around me. Basically just killing mobs until we get there. Easy as that. Let's get dived in. So this is the last time you saw us, guys. We have picked up a couple of add-ons, just to... Uh, to help with the challenge as well as I don't have a target to make it a little bit more well a little bit more involved. One of which the main one that you'll see here is the loot appraiser. I need so while we're not expecting to get anything that decent, it doesn't configure it but I'll have to do that at the moment. Um, there is no rules in this challenge that prevent you from selling the junk that you get on the auction or something place. A lot of people don't farm these low level mobs because why would they? And some of them drop meats and things and other little craft evasions usually for cooking that are worth quite a substantial amount of money so it's a nice little way of uh, boosting your income so that you can purchase green items to wear during the challenge because using the optionals like i say is perfectly fine it is somewhat subjective to abuse which there is no way of the website tracking so if you're going to take on the challenge please don't cheat it's it kind of negates the whole point of doing it, doesn't it, really? Just had to come back to town to sell, can't wait to get to level 20 so I can use my vendor mount. Saves a lot of time from doing stuff like this and to try and find which one is actually a vendor in the shop in the town. There you go. All prices here are reasonable. So yeah, I mean though guys, these are uh, not high by the eyes, we've got a lot of them. And the sale rate is pretty shocking, but it's gold. It is potential gold. This mob might do it. So look. Yeah, there we go, guys. Level six. Off to a great start. Our first noteworthy item as well. As well, if we look, that Moongrey stag tenderloin. Six gold. I have a feeling that from these little items, like just from these little bits of meat and things, we should, while we're leveling, be able to keep ourselves in a nice full set of greens at all times. I think the biggest challenge we're going to face on this, uh, on this, is keeping your focus. It can be quite a challenge, especially when I imagine when we get to the point where we're going to need a hell of a lot of kills to get a level. But that's why we're going to do it in nice little bits. We're not going to power out massive hours long sessions on this challenge at any given one time. Not least of which because I think this rested XP is going to be very beneficial for doing it. Saying that, I do aim to get level 10 on this particular session. Not sure how well we'll do with that, but here's hoping. Also got another little mini gun if I'm honest with you. I kind of want to find a rare today. That'd be nice. But I have no idea where they are, and while I have the add-on that's going to pop up and tell me when one's nearby, I haven't set any add-on up to show me on the map. I think that's a lie. <laughs> I think uh, we might have to change that to the market value. <laughs> God knows why that practice sword thinks it's worth so much gold. 
it's clearly not, since it's not even usable as a transmog ion, being a white ion. Does it look pretty cool? <laughs> it looks like a stick. Go on, those. I feel like if we transfer over into the Blood Mist Isle, from Azure Mist, there's a much better chance of finding a rare. The mob's going to be a lot tougher. But in principle, I think we should get more X per kill and hopefully get that rare that we've been looking for. That would be nice. Let's give it a go. What's the worst that happens? We die and it's challenge over. Which is actually pretty bad. Yeah, this is a horrific decision. Only time would sell. There we go guys, level 7. We gain absolutely nothing. It's great. I suppose it only makes sense that we try and uh, get all this discovery experience as well. I mean, why wouldn't we? Right? Free XP. Ooh, big mobs. I was so excited when Burning Crusade came out because I was playing a hunter at the time, like a lot of people who were relatively new to the game. And I managed to get one of these Ravagers as a pet and Damn, they were cool. Just thought, actually, guys, as well as the uh, the rares that could help us get our levels quite quickly. Looking around here, these lower levels, finding treasure chests, I do believe, is perfectly acceptable by the rules, and that could get us quite a bit of experience, too. So, looking down here, guys, it's uh, 105 experience we just got for discovering this little area. It's probably not worth going out of your way for. I wonder what that is. I want to get that. Yeah, it's probably not worth going out of your way for, but that being said, it is a nice little boost if you get it for free anyway. Hmm. What is Ravager Cage? Oh, that one. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. I'm kind of scared actually that this is going to give me a buff. Oh no, it's a Ravager that's inside. What? I, I don't know. I have no idea. Death Ravager. Am I gonna die? Oh, okay. Just gives me a mob to fight. Maybe that's a request, I guess. Oh my god, he hurts a lot. Not cancelling my cast to get it off, but there we go. We're fine. Panic for no reason. I do that. Hmm. That was kind of anticlimactic in the end. Ooh, guys, look what we just found. I was barely paying any attention. Found that little treasure chest. Let's see what we can get. I imagine we're having a bag space. I don't know how much I have to collect out of it in order to uh, be able to get the XP for it, or is it just over a little? Do I even get XP? I don't know. Um, uh, it turns out you don't get XP. That's really disappointing. Kind of felt like you should. Oh. I think what we're going to do, guys, we're going to walk back to, well, ride our little chauffeur mount back to Azure Watch, where I do believe you automatically get the flight point to go to the capital city. So we're going to go to Azure Watch, sell up all of this junk that we've got in our bag here, see if we can't get ourselves some experience for discovery, and also put some of these little bits on the auction. I'll see if we can't make a little bit of gold. And then we'll head, I think there is a little fur bulk encampment in here where I'm hoping we might be able to get ourselves a rare. Let's see. Hmm, somehow I'm inside the Exodar without having discovered the Exodar. Interesting. <laughs> I was just looking through here guys and found that my title is currently set to the patient. Now that is very fitting for anyone doing the Iron Man challenge. I think, sorry, the bloodthirsty challenge. I've been filming an Iron Man challenge as well today and I'm getting a bit confused now. But the, uh, I think the only more fitting one for the bloodthirsty challenge is if you have to play a lot of PvP and you have the bloodthirsty. That might be about it. Other than that, the patient seems a good way to go because 
Damn, you're gonna need it. God's sake, every mob will drop you this quest. Don't worry about this, guys, if this happens to you. And you get a quest item drop for you. I should really disown my auto handing, but currently it will accept the quest. Providing I don't go and talk to the NPC that is for the handing in of the quest, it will obviously hand it in, and then it doesn't count towards breaking your no questing commitments for the challenge. I seem to remember this place not being quite as friendly as it seems to be. Slightly worried now, in all honesty. I'm gonna be Bane of the Owl King. I wish that was a title. We'd, uh, we'd be doing alright then. Look at this. Also, I'm not being an idiot, guys. They are called Owlkins. I know everyone calls them Moonkins and this quest calls them Wildkins, but believe me, they are Owlkin. Damn, he hits hard. Could you like it harder? Level 8, guys. We did it. Got our Earthbind totem. I'm not sure what this actually does anymore, in all honesty. Seems to be a slow. Yeah. AoE slow. Could be a nice pulling technique if I ever uh, get brave enough to attempt to do mass pulling. <laughs> not entirely sure that I will. Oh god! Run! Fight! We can do this guys, we can do it. Got our little slow. Can just cut him around a little bit. In this incredibly enclosed space, this is a really bad idea. Whose idea was it to come to fight in here? Whoever they are, they should totally die here for their stupidity. They're not going to, but they should have. Linen cloth, just what we want. All of stupid AI on the mobs and a dot to go with it so that they just sort of kill themselves slowly while they run to me all the way around. It's fantastic. I love that I found myself a nice little farming spot. This guy's a little bit awkward, but he's not that hard to deal with. That enraged though. I didn't actually know that. I haven't noticed the first few times we've killed him. I'm quite tempted to journey just a little bit deeper into the cave. See if we can't find ourselves a rare. I imagine if there was a rare in here, it would have spawned by now and ticked off my little... NPC scan alert thing, but maybe not. Would be a lovely find though. Oh, I don't know what that is, but it's a little bit scary looking. Let's kill it. Gift of the Naru here, I think, guys. 
kite it back through our little earth bind. Keep running. Have a little heal. Yeah, definitely not a rare, just a tough mob. Oh, well that's no good. That's also no good, this is clearly not the place to be. That little room might be though. Oh, what? what? Oh my god, what's happening? Um, teleporting Alkins. Scary. The Naokin's got blink this early. Or displace a beast. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Without shape shifting. Sneaky Naokin's. Trixie. Right, guys, I think I'm going to have some out of that now. I don't want to get, uh, get unwilling to do this challenge because I'm bored of killing the same mobs over and over again. I kind of want to get all the exploration done for Azure style, so I think we're gonna head down here, guys. Loop around to get this last undiscovered area. If memory serves, there is a bandit or something that drops a little blood off mask somewhere around here. I'm not sure if he's actually a rare or if he's just the mob that drops it. I'm hoping my NPC scanner's gonna pop and tell me he's a rare and then. Hopefully get an awful lot of experience from him. But failing that, I might just get a nice little bandit mask. Which would be pretty cool. Mm, still struggling to get this discovery, guys. How bizarre. Well, we ain't going until we get it. So let's go running around. Hopefully don't aggro too many things. Don't die. Seems like a good idea. Geasel's cap oh there we go. Let's see how we can ooh. This is like some sort of encampment. I'm not sure if it's uh oh, it's a town. I was hoping it was actually gonna be like a little spawn spot of little humanoids to kill. Drop us some nice cloth. See if we uh can make some decent gold farming them. Great to meet ya. Rats go by. Oh, the humanoids that I was talking about. Seems like a nice little spot for them. Let's see if we can't get ourselves some cloth. Really hoping that if I get a hold of some little bits like cloths and eggs and meats and things and I can get them sold, you won't make a fortune. But I'm hoping that when I log off at level 10 for this episode, it'll have sold by the time I next log on and I'll be able to buy some weapons and we can switch to enhancement. I think is going to be considerably worse for this challenge, but also considerably more fun. Because it always is. Enhancement's a lot of fun. I really hope we do get a Naga themed expansion at some point. I quite like them. They're quite interesting. Not only in the lore, but just like the characters themselves, the models, the, the concept behind them. Always been one of my favourites. Oh, there's a rare thing to see nowadays, reflective damage, by default on a buff. I mean, it makes sense, he's called a barbed crawler, but I miss thorns, that's what that symbol was originally. Thorns was an amazing tool for druids. If a little bit difficult to balance, to say the least, similar to retribution aura back in the day. Man, did I love taking advantage of them. Success, guys. We've explored the Azure Mist Island. So I think what we'll do is we'll finish off getting this little bit towards level 9, and I think we're going to head up back to Blood Mist Island where we originally tried earlier on. Realised it was a little bit big for us, but I think... That's where we're gonna find ourselves a rare. Yeah, there we go guys, level 9. So like I said, back to Azure Watch now. Sell some of this junk out of our bag. And then head up to Blood Mist 
and see if we can't find ourselves a wreck. Oh my god. Damn, he swung. He only hit me once. Jesus. So, Blood Lama has finally made it to Blood Watch on Blood Missile while doing the Bloodthirsty Challenge. That is a lot of blood. Might be a theme going on here. Oh my god, guys, we got our first ever green item on this character. The Cadet Vest. It's male. Strength and stamina, because it's of the bear. We can wear that. I'm not sure we'll want to. We'll have a look and see if we can sell it. Strength and stamina are not the best stats. But it is a green. If we can't sell it, when we get our level and we can equip it. But you know what? We're going to equip it no matter what. We're going to struggle for the greens. When we get them given, we really shouldn't turn them up. That is a big victory for us then, guys. Right, I think we found a nice little spot here, guys. Bane of the Ravagers. Just sit in their little encampment. Go around and beat the crap out of them. We've almost gone on here with the half buried crates, but no like wreckage or anything. It's like they're the world's worst pirates. Oh, wreckage, never mind. Making a right little trail here, guys. Look at that. It's poor ravagers to have a clear. What the hell is with that little pair? Is that a pair? Is that a, or is that a gold bag? Oh, it's certainly some sort of fruit. Everything else red and dying. That pair refuses to give in. I'm going to call that a pair. I have no idea. I think these two will do it for us, guys. Yeah, there we go. Save time, you know. Make ourselves look nice and cool. Nothing like a bit of class. We can put our cadet vest of the bear on now, guys. We're going to do that. Celebrate getting level 10. Let's have a look what we have to do. Look how beautiful we look. I'm a little insulted that we're a cadet. You know, we're clearly like the grand master of the world. But what can you do, eh? What can you do? So we're doing now guys, we're just halved. We're gonna fly ourselves to the Exeter. Put ourselves our auctions on. Have not Call it there for the day. Fly on this. Okay guys, so we've just finished putting on our auctions as you can see behind us there. We're looking all nice and sharp in our nice new shiny green item chest that we got ourselves. And we're looking to hopefully get some sales. So just put our sales on. There's about 60 golds worth of value in items. Hopefully, if it sells, we'll be able to buy ourselves some more greens when we log back on. That's when we're leaving ourselves near the auctioneers. So, ever hopeful that that can happen. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to switch to enhancement as opposed to elemental for a bit more fun, a bit more interactive playing a melee. We didn't unfortunately find ourselves a rare, guys. So, that's just going to have to pass through into our goal for the next episode, which I hope to see you there. Bye. Thank you.